So for today, we're going to be looking at Atheris and Embrace. I got asked for not too long ago. This exotic is pretty cool. I will be explaining what the exotic actually does. A neat trick that this exotic has when you actually have the perk active. And we'll go through the everything, just the usual. So if you guys like the video, like, comment, subscribe. It really does help because a huge portion of people are actually not subscribed. So if you can do me a favor, like, comment, sub. It all really does help me to motivate me to like make more content and it literally helps me with my analytics and whatnot so again thank you all for everything and uh let's just get into it so atheris embrace is an interesting exotic uh the perk itself is called skittering stinger weighted knife gains a second bounce rapid precision hits with your weapon grant uh weighted knife a significant damage bonus and the ability to stun unshielded combatants for a short time empowered weighted knife is strong against unstoppable champions so this exotic is pretty good for stopping unstoppable champions which is really cool i would still rather use a gun just because you don't have the, that perk on all the time so just because i'm very paranoid but other than that i mean the exotic is really cool it was kind of destroying people in pvp when it first came out because the second bounce was very busted it was like almost homing to your head so a lot of people were doing some dumb stuff with this exotic i think they uh they uh reeled it back a bit but overall it's a good pve and pve pvp exotic i just rarely ever use it because i i have other exotics that i much prefer so uh before we get started a cool thing about this exotic is the fact that when the skittering stinger is actually active your wings are actually out like as you guys can see right now unfortunately you guys will see the example sets but i at least wanted to show you the wings because i think it's really cool and it's also something you can keep in mind when you're uh building into this set because you could do some really cool things with it like for example you can make us a, a set that really looks cool when the wings are out that would be really cool so other than that the exotic itself is pretty cool i actually like it a lot because no, the fact that it's symmetrical will always be a good a good thing for me. The actual like structure of the arm plate armor is so cool, almost like a bug, which is kind of, I think, what they were going for. Uh, the cool thing is the texture on the actual armor itself. You don't have to worry about that because it actually does change depending on the shader. And depending on the shader, you can actually get some really cool uh, textures in there. For example, the Emerald Splash Gambit shader from this season has a really cool like lizard scale look, which is really cool on this because because of the organic look of it, you actually look more lizard. So that's really cool. Other than that, the typical shaders look really good with it. I will be switching out two of the exotics for some newer shaders because uh, one of them, I don't even know if you can get in the game anymore. And the other one's through Eververse. So we're going to be, we're going to be switching out, uh, the Abyssinian gold and the Sato tribe. Echoed Anger, I'm going to leave because it's from a raid and it's not that hard to get, but the other ones, uh, I'm still deciding which ones I want to put in it because I, I already have a red. I'm thinking about a black, another black color and another blue or some other color let me know if which shaders you guys would like me to showcase so that way we can we can do oof, we can see so yeah other than that again like they, like i said the shader situation is really good uh it takes textures very well there's not a piece that you're going to be annoyed about because all of it really does change color as for the example set i am going for a very interesting look so for the helmet, we're using the Nemean cask because I like the fact that it's a little bit angular when you see it on the side profile. For the chest piece, I'm using the Jensen Knight Cuirass specifically because the arms have a lot of layers to them. And the Jensen Knight Cuirass also has a lot of layers to it, or at least it gives the illusion of a lot of layers. So that's what I really wanted to go for. For the boots, we're using Strides of the Great Hunt. Honestly, this is, the only reason I'm using the Strides is because the daggers at the bottom look really cool when the wings are outstretched because it kind of looks like uh it, it goes with the daggers is what i'm trying to say other than that the pointy bits also help a lot because again when the wings are outstretched you it's pointy so that's really like my head where it goes and then for the cloak we're using the forbidden visage because 
I wanted a little bit of an ornament ornamentation happening because uh, once the wings are out, you're going to look so like a lot of ornament or ornamental. I don't know how to say this, but like you're going to look Gucci as fuck is what I'm trying to say. So this look is specifically going or leaning into the wings outstretched. So if you're not into that, then you can literally do anything you want with the arms because the arms are very versatile. You can do a night look with it because again, it's not going to look weird with it because it does look that good with it uh, because it does look good, look that good with it. Okay. Because it does give off the illusion of like a night look when the, when the wings are outstretched, then at that point, it kind of might ruin the mood, but you'll, you're not going to have these wings out like a hundred percent. So for me, I'm not that big, big, I'm not that picky, but eh, for me, I'm not that picky about it. So hunters, let me know what you guys think. Do you guys like the first example set? Let me know in the comments below. Other than that, let's get into the ornament. As for the ornament it's called the wrong hands. This ornament is so cool. It changes the look of the entire exotic in such a cool way. I am a really big fan of this one. And what's really cool is I didn't think I would say this, but one of the best pieces you could actually use for this is the chest piece from the Gundam uh, or the mech suit armor from the Halloween event. So that's the only piece I would recommend for this. I don't have it for the example set because again, I don't want to buy that armor set just for one piece. Uh, I don't know. We'll see because there, there have been some stutterings of people telling me they want to donate it, uh, donate the armor piece to me, but, or the armor set. So we'll see. But overall, like I said, that chase piece is going to be really good with this. As for how it actually shaders, it shaders really well. Same thing with the default look. Nothing is unshaderable. Everything you see is shaderable. The only issue that people will probably see is the fact that the arms have a stripe all across the arm and the blades at the forearm are also have a different coloration. Other than that, I don't see a big issue with this set, to be quite honest. Uh, shaders really well. And overall, I'm a really big fan of it. As for the example set, some of you guys may have noticed that I'm using the same chest piece and the same cloak as another video, this one right here. And the main reason why I'm using the same chest piece and cloak is because I actually forgot that I used it. Uh, you guys probably don't know that I make these exotic videos not in like one full day. It's very rare for me to do that. I do them across like, like a week or whatever. So sometimes I forget which pieces I use in other sets. And this is an example of that. Not saying this doesn't look good. I actually think this is probably cooler because I think every piece melds well together, uh, which if you guys saw the last video, this one, like I said, then you guys will know that for me, the helmet was the only piece that I'm not, I wasn't really a big fan of. But this one, I think every piece looks amazing. I love the fact that the chest piece Lycan uh, vest has two metal plates on the breast and it looks like the arms are attached to that metal plate. Uh, the fact that the Calamity rig cloak has the hose and the light can also has robes in the neck. It just kind of looks like there's a bunch of uh, like uh, hoses going through my throat, which is super cool. The Scarin Corvus mask, I think, looks super cool with this set because I almost look like that one guy from Mortal Kombat. I forget his name. I'll have his name up right here, but it reminds me of him. Cabal, I think his name is. Uh, I, th I think it looks super cool. I've always liked it, and I definitely recommend this just for the helmet because it looks amazing. But even the, the cloak is cool. I think a lot of the pieces of those set is really cool. The only unfortunate part is the fact that the yellow pieces are very hard to shade her around because the yellow doesn't change color. Uh, as for the boots, Legacy Oath Strides was an easy choice for me because the like the like all of the leg has hoses like underneath the the actual armor pieces and i thought that was just very fitting so i do apologize for those who are like you're using the same chest piece and cloak but for me they're different enough that i i was like it's fine i don't really mind that that much to be quite honest and i think it actually looks super super cool so let me know what you guys think in the comments below that's it i don't think atheris embrace has any other ornament if it does let me know in the comments below but yeah let me know what you guys think if you guys want to follow me on my social media all links are in the description below we will be doing the Promethean Spur in the next video because that it did get asked for. And 
again i do apologize that i haven't been pumping these videos videos out as i used to but with my injury and just a bunch of other stuff in the background i've been very busy so be safe and i'll see you guys later